Hi boys and girls. It's Wednesday story time and I'm here at Cupcake's Corky Cottage with Cupcake and we're so glad to see all of you. I hope you're having a good January and you're staying warm. It's been cold out and last week I read the story Polar Bear and at the end I said you might want to go to the zoo and see all the animals at our zoo and Cupcake she wanted to know what is a zoo she's never been to the zoo have you cupcake no she's never been they don't allow dogs at the zoo so cupcake picked out the story for today called corduroy at the zoo <laughs> so we're going to go to the zoo with that little bear corduroy you think that'll be fun cupcake Yes, yeah, so I'm glad that you joined us, and we'll go right to the story, Corduroy at the Zoo. It's based on a character created by Don Freeman, and the pictures are by Lisa McHugh, and I really like the way she draws her pictures. Do you see all the animals at the zoo? Let's see, and this is a, a lift the flap book, so we're going to be lifting up some flaps. There's Corduroy at the zoo. It is a sunny day, and Corduroy and his friends are at the zoo. They buy their tickets and get a map, but where should they go first? Now, I see a flap right here. Oh, look, <laughs> that funny, funny polka dot puppy dog is blowing up a pink balloon. And what other flap? Oop. This is a flap. What's that? I think that's a little bird behind the sign there. The sign tells you the directions, which way to go for the different things at the zoo. And is this a flap over here? I think so. Oh, look at that. The pink gingham bunny rabbit is reading his map to the zoo. So there were a lot. Oh, I think. No, that's not a flap. I thought that was a flap. All right, let's turn the page. The zoo is a busy place this morning. The first animals they see are a lion family. Do you see the lion family right over there? Next to the lions are two giraffes eating and three zebras drinking. Do you see the two giraffes? Do you see the three zebras over here drinking? Well, I think I see a flap right here. What's under there? <gasps> There's that bird. That bird has flown over here to look at the, maybe he wants to visit with his friend, the giraffe. And the giraffes are eating the leaves off that tree, aren't they? And where is there another flap? Oh, there's somebody right here. Who is that? Oh, it's a puppy dog behind that sign. Yeah. And what's over here? It says lions live in groups. So well, here's, oh, the rock. We can, oh, look what's behind the rock. It's a little cub, a little lion cub with his mama. Isn't that sweet? Then Corduroy spots animals from Australia. Oh, look, what kind of animals live in Australia? The kangaroos, look, and the kangaroos have huge feet and they like to jump. Corduroy watches the koala bears eating leaves in the trees. Good day, mates. And there's the koala bear. Oh, and I see a flap. Should we lift that flap? <gasps> and there's a baby koala bear on the mama's back. Look at that. Oh, and over here, there's a flap. What's behind there? Oh, there's a little, there's a little critter down there. I'm not sure what that is. It's a wombat. That's a wombat. It says right here, wombats live in holes in the ground and they eat grass. And so in the kangaroo, where the kangaroos are, there's a little wombat. And this, oh, there's that bird. That bird must be flying all over the zoo this morning because he was behind that little sign. Now let's turn the page. Corduroy and his friends head down the path of the jungle walk. There are lots of trees and vines and it's dark. Corduroy sees the parrots, but where are all the monkeys? He sees a parrot and oh, I think I see a flap. Oh, 
there's a monkey. <laughs> He's swinging in the tree, isn't he? And is there a flap here? Oh, there's another. There's two monkeys. Look at that. He's checking his head to see if he's got any bugs on him. And is there a flap here? Oh, that's a big orangutan. I think that's an orangutan monkey. And what's over here? Oh, and there's a spider monkey swinging through the vines. Well, we, maybe we already lifted that up. I think we found all the monkeys. So let's turn the page. Oh, this says reptile house. At the end of the path is where the reptiles live. Look at the big snake taking a nap on the rocks. Do you see a big snake taking a nap on the rocks? Where are the rocks? I don't see it. Do you? Oh, there it is, right there. Let's see what's behind that little sign. Oh, oh yeah, there's his head. There's the snake's head. And he was sleeping in that, on those rocks. And what's here? Oh, look, there's the turtle. He's hiding inside his shell, see? That's what they do. They kind of poke their head out and then they poke it back inside, don't they? That's what turtles do. And oh, I see a log here with a crocodile in it, or an alligator, I guess that's an alligator, and he has a turtle on his back. That's what was behind that log. And what's behind the alligator sign? There's that little bird again. There's the bird. And oh, look at that snake. That's a cobra in the reptile house. We found a lot of, oh, we didn't lift up this flap. Oh, look, it's an iguana. Or it says a chameleon. He can change colors to match his background. It's like a big lizard. Do you see that? The reptile house is pretty cool, isn't it? There is a special kind of bear Corduroy likes to watch. Look at that polar bear. Oh, we had a polar bear in our story last week. They love to swim, don't they? Look at the polar bear underwater with this big red ball. He's enjoying, that polar bear is enjoying his lunch. Oh, that's this polar bear, look, behind the rock. See him enjoying his lunch? The seals are being fed too. See the seals over here? They're getting fed some fish. And Corduroy's hungry. He thinks it must be snack time. What's under that? Oh, look, that little dog is getting a snack. He's getting an ice cream cone from the bear. And what are the seals doing? There's that little bird. Do you see that little bird? He's everywhere. And we saw the polar bears eating. So I think we got all the got all the flaps on that. Oh, wait a minute. There's a flap here. Oh, look at all the treats inside that ice cream cart. Oh my goodness. I bet Corduroy will go over there and get him a treat. Corduroy and his friends are tired from all that walking. Before they leave the zoo, there's time for an elephant ride. Hold on tight, Corduroy, and watch out for your button, because what is happening? The elephant's trying to get his button. <gasps> Look at that! And he's trying to feed him a peanut. But he better watch out, he might get his button. And look who's behind his ear. There's another one of those silly little monkeys. And what else do we see? What else do we see? Any other flaps? Oh. <laughs> that flap is already back. He's riding on top of the elephant with the pink ginga money, the little blue bear. Look at that. So they, and I think he's getting ready to ride it. And oh, there's something behind this flap. And you know who it is? It's that bird and he's eating some of the peanuts. So that is the end of Corduroy's trip to the zoo. So Cupcake, do you know what a zoo is now? It's got lots of animals, and it's so much fun to go to the zoo. I hope, boys and girls, you get to go to the zoo. And I hope I get to go soon. I love to go to the zoo. And for a craft today, you might want to make your own little flap picture. You could take, I drew all these little pictures of animals. I just got a piece of paper and started drawing. I drew a horse and a dog and a pig and a bumblebee. 
and I found these little barns. I found these at Dollar Tree, I think. But you can make a little barn or you can make any kind of little house with little doors. And then you just want to cut, cut the square out and have your little doors. And then whatever picture you decide to put back there, you glue the picture on. And what did I put? What did I put in the barn? Meow. I put a kitty cat. So you can make your own little flap picture and that could be your craft today. So that might be fun. And we enjoyed being with you, didn't we, Cupcake? And we're so glad you come to Storytime for the Spanish Fort Library. And I hope one day we'll get to see you back at the library in person. That's what Miss Mary hopes. So does Cupcake, right? Woo! Woo! <laughs> so we'll say goodbye for now and see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye!